Hello, my name is Van Gita with the CU Cougars.com, and this is your Cougar Press Pass. Men's tennis enter their season in the first round of playoff play. In the NAC tournament at MSOE, they would fall in their doubles matches, and four of their singles matches would go unfinished. Their final overall record was 2-12 and 2-4 and and in conference while going to the tournament for the first time since 2014. Windsor Cross lost both their matchups this week to close out their season. In their last NAC game of the season versus Aurora, Riley Orstein had three goals where Kelly Piotrowski and Kate Johnson each had one. On the defensive side, Chloe Shessman led and caused turnovers with four. Saturday, Sarah Ludwig would lead the defense with seven ground balls and two caused turnovers. Piotrowski and Orstein would score their only two goals on the day. Ryan McGee totaled 20 saves on the week. Their final record was 4-10 overall and 3-3 three three in conference. Also closing out their season was men's across as they headed to Aurora. The only goal of the day was scored by Jared Tabor off a, a Zach Cicero assist in the net. Peter Borgowski had 24 saves to conclude their season with a record of 0-15 overall and 0-8 in conference. Baseball went 1-2 and two in the week before their Sunday's doubleheader was canceled due to weather. At North Central on Tuesday, Julio Caiga's solo home run would bring the only run for the Cougars. Tyler Dorsch and Christian Jacob were the only players to record a hit on the day. In Game 1 against the Eagles of Ben Yu, Jacob went 3-5 for five with 4 RBIs off of 1 home run and a double with 2 stolen bases. Brandon Mahler and Gary Maynard followed with 4 and 3 RBIs respectively. Weston Stuntsman pitched 7 innings where he picked up 5 strikeouts in his 6th win of the season. During Game 2, Tyler Sherman hit his first career home run as he went 1-1 one for one at the plate and picked up 2 RBIs. To wrap up the regular season, they'll be heading home on Tuesday to host CUW at 3 p.m. before heading to Marion on Thursday at 12 and 3. Senior Day will be on Saturday against Dominican with the game times of 12 and 3. Softball managed to get one in against Benedictine going 4 and 0 before facing many weather delays. Leading the offense was Arissa Santos, who was 2 for 3 at the plate. Her two home runs brought in three of the four runs in the game. On the mound, Ashley Schroll pitched seven innings and had three strikeouts for her ninth win of the season. Tuesday, they'll head to Rockford at 3 and 5 before coming home for a series of home games. Wednesday, against Benedictine at 4 p.m., a Marion doubleheader scheduled for 3 and 5 in Senior Days Saturday versus Dominican with a doubleheader of 12 and 2 to close out their regular season. Track and field themselves had another outstanding week as they competed in Florida and Illinois. Going up against Division I athletes during day one, Madeline Bobinski placed 17th. Eve Shelton finished 23rd in the 400 meter hurdles with a new PR of 108.24, and Kayla Armstrong placed 26th in the 200 meter. Zara Samore found herself in second place in triple jump and fourth in long jump after distances of 1097 and 506 meters respectively. Also having a top finish was Jersey Allen in the 100 meter where her time of 1633 secured her eighth place. New personal records were set by Deja Wilson, Ariel Martinez, McKenna Stanley, Anaya Isam, and Jamie Seibert. Day two in Florida was Bobinski placing 17th in shot put and eighth in javelin after throws of 1158 and 3403 meters. Armstrong had a season best 400 meter with a time of 55.85, which placed her 21st. Breaking his own record for the last week was Martin Egbo with the hammer throw as he threw 49.09 meters. Another notable performance was by Gustavo Alvarez, who finished 11th in the pole vault. Avery Jones, who finished first in high jump and ninth in long jump. Austin Knight placed fifth in the 200 meter. And the 4x400 relay team of Matthew Cardwell, Adrian Mendez, Vincent Scarnetto, and Knight finished third. Chisio Zocitecco, William Leonard, Scarnetto, Knight, and John Cannon all set new personal records. Continuing to go against high-level athletes in Florida on Saturday, Alvarez and Egbo placed 21st and 29th in their individual events. Teams are back together this weekend as they head to St. Norbert for conference champions. For the last time of this school year, my name has been Van Gato and will always be Van Gato, and this is your Cougar Press Pass.